Hi everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Sophie Hannah here and I hope you guys are super well and staying safe. Um, oh, I have to say, I have no idea what is going on right now, but my ears, like, I can't really hear much. It is so muffled. It's been like it on and off for like a week. Tends to be like, I'll wake up and then I'll kind of get it after about an hour and then it kind of disperses and I can hear again in the afternoon. But yesterday, it started later on in the day and did not go and I've woken up with it again. And like, it's like my ears need to pop. But they won't pop. I've yawned. I've like swallowed. I've done everything. They will not pop. Um, I don't know what is wrong. Um, I booked an earwax. And it's so gross. But I've booked an earwax removal um, appointment on Wednesday to see if it's earwax. I've done like the olive oil kind of technique thing this morning where you lay on your side and you put a couple of drops of olive oil in your ear in both sides because it's both sides not just one um to see if that would help and it hasn't really helped and like I can't tell you how frustrating it is so I don't know if, whether I've got something blocked in my in both my ears if it's just a build up of wax I have no idea but it's really annoying so even now I'm talking and I just sound weird to myself um, if Robin talks, because he's got a really deep voice, it's like I've got surround sound, it's awful, it is awful. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what's going on. Oh, I feel like there's just always something, isn't there? Anyway, guys, I've got no nails on, so I'm going to do some nails. Uh, well, I'm going to stick some nails on. I did them yesterday, they're really cool. I will put them on and then I'll show you. Okay, guys, these are my new nails. What do we think? They're like Kylie Jenner kind of vibe nails. I got inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest. So cute. Got fluff stuck to them all. Um, but yeah, love them. And they match my hair. So cute. Also, guys, we are we're doing the brows today because <laughs> let me zoom in. Every day they are growing more and more. I mean, from far away. It's not too bad, but I just feel like it's just going to be effort trying to, like, fill them in and stuff. So, yeah, because I'm going away on Friday, hopefully, um, I just want my brows back. Genuinely didn't know brow hairs grew that quick. So, yeah, I have bought, just for men, um, it... Restores original colour for a natural look. Fast and easy shampoo in hair colour with keratin, olive oil and vitamin E for strong hair. Do you develop it for five minutes? I don't know whether to go for the real black or dark brown black. I mean, my eyebrows are black, but I'm just worried if I go for the black, is it going to look a bit weird on, like, over the top of blue or green? I mean, I don't know, guys. I feel like I'd rather do this and have this, and then when my brow hairs completely grow through, they will be my own. Um, but, yeah, so I think I might go for real black. Um, we will try it. I guess I can always go over it with this, um, the other shade. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to try. Everyone else seems to do this on TikTok and YouTube that I've seen, and they've used this product, so we're going to give it a go. Okay, we are putting the base colour in the developer. Putting on gloves so I don't ruin my new nails. And we're meant to shake this. Apply it, work it in, wait for five minutes, rinse and shampoo. Okay, well, I've got a little spoolie to apply. I'm trying to film a TikTok of this at the same time, by the way. Okay, so I've popped a little bit in this little pot. And I've got the spoolie. And I'm just brushing through my brows. And yeah, we'll see if this works. I mean, I have no idea. But yeah, hopefully it will look better than the dots coming through. Right, guys, it's on. I've cleaned up around the edges. Um, there is a little bit of, like, dye on my skin. But I'm kind of hoping it doesn't stain. Um, I've set my timer. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Oh, honestly. That one looks like it's going purple. I mean, as long as it's like a brownie kind of shade, then they will eventually grow out. And yeah. I don't know if I'll ever do this again. I mean, 
Oh dear. Anyways, I'll leave it on. When my timer goes off, I'll rinse it off and then we'll see what it looks like. And then obviously I'll apply my makeup and stuff. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys um, in a bit. Guys, are you ready for the reveal? It worked. Oh my God. I'm back. I am back. And it worked so well. I'm just going to turn that light off there because it's quite bright. Um, oh my God, it worked so well. My brows look so full now. I think it's because they dyed all the hairs around the edge of my brow. And also, it's kind of stained the skin, like, in between my hairs. So they look really full and, like, I filled them in. What do you think? That worked so well. I'm shocked. They look so fluffy now. Oh, that was a success, guys. I really thought that was going to be a fail and they were going to turn, like, purple. I mean, I don't know how they're going to fade. They're probably going to fade because, obviously, I've put a black dye over bleach. Um, but I've got the other box of the dark brown, um, which, dark brown black, which I can use to top up my brows maybe in, like, a week or so. Um, but, yeah, they look really, really good. Yay! Right guys, I am back. Also, I had to wash my hair because it was a bit greasy and I had quite a bit of dandruff, which is not good. So I used a scalp exfoliator and a scrub and then I washed my hair. And so this is now after three, no, two washes, um, the fade out. So yeah, I think it's looking really, really good. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, also brows, so these are my brows. Now, they are a little bit darker than they normally are. Um, but I think they look pretty good um, considering they are back and I just use just for men. Yeah, so I think actually my brows look great. I've um, glued them down like I normally do. But yeah, they're a lot darker than they should be. But I think it will fade and I probably will have to redo it just because obviously they're bleached underneath. But I think it looks pretty good, guys. What do you think? Anyways, I'm going to film some hair tutorials now. Um, so the video is already up. I've done 10 simple... Uh, bob hairstyle ideas for you guys just for a bit of inspiration um i know you guys love those videos it's just yeah it's just a lot for my hair to go through so i don't do them very often um but the hair is freshly washed we're doing it today we've got 10 looks i'm gonna do guys i am spending the day transforming into euphoria characters so cool um so this is my first one which is rue obviously um i had a wig on and everything um and my hood up on my hoodie but yeah, I just wanted to show you a little sneaky peek. Um, I'm probably not going to show you all of them because they're going live every day next week. I'm going to do like a whole series, like Euphoria characters, over the whole week starting from Sunday. Um, and yeah, I'll do a different character each day. And at the end of the week, I'll do like a mashup of all of them. So yeah, I don't want to show you all of them. Uh, but here's a little sneak peek of Rue. Make sure you check out my TikTok and Instagram if you want to see the full series. The aftermath of my Maddie makeup i need to get all of these gems off oh so much eyelash glue on my face i've got a bin just below me to get all of these gems off i uh wore a wig and did like the little uh curls in her hair on her cheek and um oh, now i've got like eyelash glue everywhere and i think my own hair is stuck down with it as well I've done three looks today it's about five o'clock so I actually didn't do too bad to be fair um and I filmed seven videos <laughs> or something so they'll all be coming out this week um yeah and then I've got two more to do tomorrow oh my god I've got so many gems it's the only way I find to take these off is if you just scratch the the little jewels but it's rather uncomfortable okay we are done on that eye now this eye ah oh today is one of those days everyone wants me and there is not enough hours <gasps> ah. okay she's chill i've just filmed another um euphoria makeup look this is cat and i finished my five character makeup looks for Euphoria. So that's one thing done today. Whew, okay. 
Now I need to do some paid stories and upload them. I need to have lunch. I've got counselling. I'm also going to get my ears cleaned today because I might, I mentioned to you the other day that they've been like really funny. They've been all right yesterday and today, but I did do the olive oil um, ear thing on a Monday. So I do feel like maybe I do have a bit of an earwax blockage and that's kind of loosened it up. So I'm going to get my ears cleaned today. So hopefully that helps and I'll have like great hearing. Um, so yeah, doing that today as well. And then I need to dye a wig tonight as well for Sophie Hannah Hair because we've got an exciting announcement coming next week. Stay tuned. Um, so I need to dye a wig. So I've literally got the world's most busiest day and it's because I'm going away on Friday. So yeah, it's like all come at once. So um, yeah, stressed. I wish I could have like two of me. Like if I was an identical twin, honestly, it'd make my life so much easier. <laughs> Oh, and I need to do emails and oh, the stuff like Robin can do but he can't do it without me telling him what to do or like sitting with him so then it's like oh, I may as well just do it myself oh yeah. and I shouldn't complain because you know this is a great job and you know I'm busy which is amazing but sometimes it's it, it's just a lot and yeah he I, I hate giving myself too much. I'm all like, I've been so good. I don't like to get stressed and I try not to give myself loads of work, you know, with my vertigo and stuff. Um, I don't want like stress and anxiety can trigger it. So it's like, I'm like rushing around. Like whenever I rush around, it triggers it. So I don't like to do those things, but sometimes it's just, it, I literally cannot do anything like about it. I have to be stressed and running around. Like there's nothing else that I can do. Um, I try and plan my diary, but things crop up and, you know, I don't want to turn things down, um, especially with Sophie Hannah hair. So yeah. Anyways, I need some food because I'm starving. I have just been running around for like half an hour trying to find my camera. Obviously I found it because I'm vlogging now, but I checked my studio, I checked my dressing room, I checked my office, I checked the bedroom, I checked the living room, I checked the bathroom, and I was like, where the hell is my camera? <sighs> and I was like, I've put it in a weird place. I just know I've put it in a weird place that I won't be able to find it. And then I took Shadow to the toilet in the kitchen and turned around and there my camera was on the kitchen bench where like, it's just the weirdest place. I would never really put it there. But anyway, I found it. Um, I just filmed dyeing this wig which can I say I'm obsessed with it is so cool I freaking love this color combo so I've done kiwi green underneath and then I've done bubblegum pink on top I feel like I have to really stretch my arm out with this camera my old camera got so much in well, the quality is good of this camera though. So yeah, so kiwi green underneath, bubblegum pink on top, obsessed. Love this colour combination. So cute. What do you guys think? So I just had to um, film a dyeing video because you're going to be the first ones to know this. I'm telling you a big secret here. Um, basically, Sophie Hannah hair is going to be stocked somewhere very, very soon. Next week is the announcement. So stay tuned. You heard it here first. Um, I'm not going to tell you where, but it's super exciting. And it's with a retailer that I love and I have purchased from before. And it's just incredible that they want to stock Sophie Hannah hair alongside all of the other amazing brands that they offer. So yeah, really, really exciting. And I hope it kind of helps you guys get your hands on Sophie Hannah hair a little bit better because they're like such a huge company. They'll have better like postal deals um, and like posting overseas and stuff. So hopefully that might help some of you out um, when buying Sophie Hannah hair. So yeah, super exciting. Stay tuned for that announcement. Make sure you follow Sophie Hannah hair on Instagram. Um, yeah, really exciting. So I just dyed this wig as a bit of a kind of launch video for the brand. Um, I would have loved to have dyed my hair, but I'm still kind of, well, still blue and green. So it's not kind of faded enough for me to, I mean, I probably could, could put a, the pink over the blue and it would go a nice lilac, um, like a purpley colour, but, which could be quite cool to be fair. And then I could top up the other side with green again. 
Hmm. Maybe I could do that to top up my colour soon. That is a good idea. Should I do that? Should I do keep one side green and do the other side put the pink over it and it will go like purple? Thoughts? So then it'll be like purple and green? That is a cute combo. But anyway, guys, that this week. And yeah, super exciting announcement coming next week. Also, guys, this vlog is going to be short this week because I thought, basically, I'm going to Iceland on Friday pending negative PCR tomorrow. But I thought um, I'd end this vlog and then next week's vlog will just be Iceland rather than splitting the trip up because I go on Friday and I come back next Thursday and then I'll get like a few days off, which is over Robin's birthday, which is quite nice. That's not this weekend, it's next weekend. Um, his birthday is the 5th of March. So then I'll have a few days off and then the vlog will go live on the 6th of March and it will just be Iceland. Um, yeah, I think I might do that. Uh, what do you guys think about that? I feel like that's going to be a lot better for you guys because then it was just going to be Iceland in the whole vlog. Everything, all the excursions and yeah. But we will pack together tomorrow. Um, so I'll show you guys what I'm taking because we've got to get all like the base layers and the ski outfits and like thermals, everything. Like it's so cold out there. Um, but yeah, <sighs> it's half 10 at night. I've been working all day today. I filmed three videos. Oh, my ears. My ears are clean, they're clear. He showed me a video. He said one of my ears is actually a little bit weird, like inside, which, yeah, a bit strange. But he said he's gonna like look into it, but he th said it should be fine. It just looks different. Like the eardrum, I think, is more prominent. I don't know, I can't really remember what he said. But all clear with like wax, so he didn't bother removing any wax. And my ears have been fine for the last few days. He's given me some sinus spray because he thinks maybe I might have a bit of con congestion like here, which could be affecting my ears. So maybe it is that, because I do feel a little bit congested. Um, or it might be linked to the vertigo. I don't know, because he did ask me if I've got vertigo, and obviously I do, um, which is getting a lot more manageable now. Um, I just I, I just know my triggers. Um, it's annoying having triggers, because it's like the triggers are like, just normal stuff like being in a car <laughs> triggers it or whatever but sorry this has been really long um, i'm gonna sign off now and yeah i'll join you guys again tomorrow and we can pack for iceland guys let's pack for iceland robin and i got our negative tests so we can go which is super exciting we dropped the dogs off at the kennels and yes yeah, time to pack so with iceland like i've done like a bit of research into what to wear and what to pack so i hope this kind of is informative to you guys or anyone that's watching. Um, yeah, because I really struggled figuring out what to take and like the weather. Luckily, I don't know whether you follow Soph. Um, Soph does nails, that's what she used to be called. Um, she just recently went to Iceland and she actually said it was like minus five to minus 10. Um, especially like when you leave the um, city, uh, what's it called, Re Reykjavik? Is that how you pronounce it? Reykjavik? Reykjavik? um definitely need to look on google on how to pronounce that but yeah so that's why they're staying in the main city and then yeah she said when you get out of the main city and you do the excursion so you're by the um sea and you're on the coast um it can get very cold and as well you're kind of standing around walking around slowly so you're gonna feel the cold even more so we need base layers um and i actually looked into like what to wear like with base layers like do i need to wear like i don't know thick trousers or what sort of coat to wear and i've so many people wear different things i've seen people go and wear jeans and just like a, a uk winter coat and i've seen other people go in full-on ski outfits now i feel the cold and i hate being cold so i'm actually just going to take my ski wear because that is meant for you know skiing in like zero to one degrees and colder um so i'm taking my ski stuff that i took to finland i mean it was minus 25 in finland and i felt pretty warm in these outfits so um yeah i think they're going to keep me warm in iceland so i'm just going to take ski stuff because i thought i don't want to buy like waterproof trousers or anything like that because i'm if i'm honest i'm probably not going to wear it again so if i buy ski stuff i know i'm going to go skiing so yeah anyways let's start so base layers i showed you these guys in my last weekly vlog i got them from mountain warehouse on offer they've still got a sale they were 13 pounds 
um, for the base layers, top and bottoms, reduced from like 60 or 70. And it's merino wool, which is really, really good. Like that's kind of what you want to get in a base layer. So I've got a top and bottom and really cute, like wintry print. So love that. So that's going in. Then I've got some base layers from Sweaty Betty. I love Sweaty Betty. I've actually got like a uni, it's not a Utah, but like an all-in-one like snow like ski outfit. I'm not taking it because um, it's just a bit extreme. But when we went skiing to Finland, I wore it and it was oh, just so nice. So I've got these. So these are more like kind of gym legging material. Um, and they've got, they're like black, but they've got like a really nice like, animal print on. Really nice actually. Um, so yeah, so I've got the trousers in that. And of course, a long sleeve top to match which is this here. Love Sweaty Betty stuff. Like the quality of it just feels so nice. Um, then we'll go to ski jackets. So I'm gonna take two jackets. So they're obviously like ski winter jackets, but this one's from Goldberg. I literally love this. So I got this um, when we went skiing to Finland. It's gold. It's just such a nice jacket and it's like cropped. Um, and it's really nice figure hugging. It's got like lots of pockets on. It's got a hood. Yeah, so really nice jacket and it's waterproof. And yeah, you've got loads of pockets inside and stuff. So you can like store things in there. Yeah, I love this jacket. It's so nice and it's like so well made. I've got a few things from Goldberg actually that I want to show you. Um, but yeah, so well made. So I've got that I'm taking. Another ski jacket. Where is it? Oh, here. Is this one from Topshop. So back when there was a store, um, the Topshop Snow um this is a jacket i love this it's so nice faux fur hood white with black like panels on it it's got a little belt to like cinch you in and it's got loads of pockets and bits and bobs and yeah so nice so i'm gonna actually wear that to the airport so i don't need to pack it um just because it's quite bulky like putting all this kind of like snow winter stuff in a suitcase trouser wise so i've got these ski trousers which oh they are so comfy. These are from Sweaty Betty. I've got them at Vista Village. So yeah, they've got Sweaty Betty at Vista Village and obviously it's all discounted. It's an amazing place to go if you are going skiing because obviously, yeah, you get money off. Um, so I've got these like salopettes. It's like dungarees um, and they're just black. Really, really comfy, waterproof and yeah, just an amazing fabric. They feel so nice. So I'm gonna be packing those. Then I've got these ski trousers which actually match the um top shop ski jacket so well but these are actually from um jack wills that's it um i was gonna say tommy hilfiger for some reason jack wills these are from jack wills and they fit me really really nice and they're super super comfy and i think they're only 80 pounds so yeah they're really nice they're coming with me and that's basically my stuff that i'm gonna wear for all of my excursions so i've just got two outfits and then I can mix my base layers in. Oh, tops, they're right behind me. So, wait, let me do my shoes first. So I showed you these in my other uh, weekly vlog last week. These are like kind of comfy trainer vibe snow boots, but they're like made for like urban kind of like trekking, like hiking or whatever. Uh, not hiking, but like, do you know what I mean? Like walking to see the waterfalls and stuff like that in Iceland. So these are thermal, they're waterproof. And yeah, they're from Sorrel, so nice, and they are so comfy. So I've got those to take with me. And also like, they're just nice and wearable that I would wear these again if we went anywhere for like wintry. Um, scarf, of course. And then I've got these layers to go over the top of my base layers. They are so, fluff from the scarf again by mouth. They're so nice. They're like high neck, but you can unzip them, which I love. Um, this top with stars on, so it's white with black stars, and this is from Goldberg. And then I've got this one, which I'm literally obsessed with. How nice is that? It just really reminds me of like Versace kind of vibes. So yeah, this is another kind of same style top with a zip down the center, so you can like open it up and like show your base layers. Um, but I think this is also a base layer as well, but it doesn't feel so like tight and skin hugging compared to like the other base layers I've got, but I thought these can just go over the top of that. Um, and then I'll just wear my coat, so I don't need like a jumper or anything. Um, so yeah, so I've got those two, which I can just mix and match. Um, 
thermal socks coming with me. And then, oh my God, I friggin' love this. How cool is this? I literally feel like an Eskimo. Uh -huh. So like, basically, I'm gonna wear this with my gold Goldberg ski jacket because it hasn't got like a faux fur hood. So that can kind of sit in the hood or I can lift it up like when it's windy and just like be really cozy. And that just like sits like that. So it's kind of like a balaclava. How cute, so good. So that's from Goldberg, love that. That's coming with me. And then gloves, so ski gloves, because obviously they're waterproof and they're thermal. I say, I keep saying waterproof, but you never know what the weather's gonna be like in Iceland. It could be snowing. Um, yeah, the weather seems to change a lot over there. And also we might actually go skiing because there are a few ski slopes out there. Again, weather dependent. Um, but they've got like ski slopes that you can kind of go to for the day. I think they open from like two till seven at night. Uh, but there's one half an hour from the city. Actually, there's two. There's two half an hour from the city in different directions. Um, so we were thinking we might actually just grab a cab or get a bus or something and go to the ski slopes for the afternoon because we love skiing and we have not been for like two years. So yeah, like literally this time two years ago, just before the first lockdown, we were in Finland. Oh, just loved it there. I I really pray that we see the Northern Lights again. They're just so beautiful. We're doing a Northern Lights tour. Anyway, I can tell you all about it in my ISA vlog, which is coming next week. Uh, but yeah, ski gloves. These are from Roxy. Love these. And they fit me really, really well. And you can use your phone and stuff and your camera. So you don't have to get your hand out and it'd be freezing. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's like all my like day stuff that I'm taking. And then just for evening, obviously I can wear my jackets in the evening walking around um, Reykjavik. Reykjavik, um, and then I'm just gonna take some evening outfits, super cash. I'm not, I'm, in terms of content, I'm just gonna vlog the trip and do like a little mini vlog on Instagram and maybe like do lots of stories every day. So if you wanna tune into my stories, I'll be sharing like everything that we get up to. Um, but I'm doing like a Euphoria makeup series next week on Instagram whilst I'm away. So I don't really feel the pressure of having to like share stuff. Um, but yeah, I might share a few posts here and there, but I don't really plan on shooting much content. So I, it's actually quite nice. I don't really have to plan like outfits. And also I don't really need to take jewellery. I don't really need to like dress up. So it's actually really nice doing like a wintry kind of trip. Like I've just got a few day outfits and that's it. Um, so yeah, just going to pack a few day outfits. But that is it guys. Just thought I'd quickly run through like the day kind of excursion stuff that you should take to Iceland with you, well that I'm taking, that I think is probably good things to pack. Um, swimsuit, I need a swimsuit for Blue Lagoon, or a bikini. Um, but yeah, gonna love you, leave you guys. Make sure you tune in to next week's vlog for Iceland. So exciting! Cool, take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys very soon. Peace out.